Hey everybody, it's Keegan here. I'm back with another video for you guys once again, and it's time for another movie review video. And this time it's a double feature review of Joker and the new the new movie, Joker Folie A Deux. I believe that's how you pronounce it. So uh, yeah, let's talk about him. So we're going to start with Joker, which was directed by Todd Phillips, and it was originally released on October 4th, 2019, so the film recently had its fifth five-year anniversary a few days ago now i actually remember going to see this one in theaters a week after it came out with my mom and i really enjoyed it and it was a great experience seeing it in theaters and i actually revisited this film the same day i watched uh, the new film like a few hours before i went to the theater and saw the sequel and i think it still holds up all these years later but we'll just get to the story really quickly and then we'll get into my thoughts on it now, Joker serves as an origin story for the titular character Joker, one of the one of the Batman's most arch enemies and one of the most famous villains of the Batman franchise. However, it depicts him in a very different way. It doesn't depict him as a mobster or a gang leader like in some of the other Batman stories and movies over the years. Instead, it depicts him as a uh, as a deeply broken soul with a troubled past and bullied by society basically it follows arthur fleck played by joaquin phoenix who uh is who who's having a troubled life he gets bullied by members of society and gets shunned upon on by society he works as a clown but his co-workers and the people close to him treat him like shit. And he treats his uh, ailing mother, played by Francis Conroy. And then recently, in the it's not until recently he gets uh, attacked by some men on a train station. And he kills them in self-defense. And it leads him on a downward spiral to a life of crime and unleashed chaos and mayhem in Gotham City. And without giving away too much, that's basically the story of the film in a nutshell. I loved this movie when I saw it in theaters uh, five years ago. It was dark, it was gritty, and Joaquin Phoenix delivers an excellent performance as the Joker. And it's definitely one of his best performances. And I really like how dark and gritty the story is for the film. And it definitely did a great job on get keeping it toned to get an R rating. While not incredibly violent, there are a few two or three brutal death scenes in the film. And and the character Arthur Fleck, like his behavior throughout the film gets unsettling as the film progresses. Like he starts off as a deeply troubled soul you start to feel sorry for, but through, as the film progresses, he slowly turns into a an a nihilist psychopathic killer. And it's just so damn creepy it's i'd say joaquin phoenix might be the second or third best actor to play the character joker along with uh jack nicholson in the 1989 batman movie and heath ledger who to this day is still the best actor who played joker he played joker in uh the dark knight but uh really great film it's dark it's gritty and it Kind of reminds me a little bit of Taxi Driver a little bit. It kind of gives me the Taxi Driver vibes a little bit. I think this movie would make an interesting double feature with uh, Taxi Driver. And another movie with Joaquin Phoenix called You Were Never Really You Were Never Really Here, I think is what it was called. That's another great movie too. And um, watching this movie again five years later... I think it still holds up, although I can definitely draw a little bit of a comparison with that and Taxi Driver, but it's still a really great movie all these years later, and it was one of my favorite films of 2019 as well. But uh, all in all, I really enjoyed Joker. It's a great movie. It's dark, and it was really well made and well acted, and it still holds up all these years later. But I don't have anything else to add, so I'm giving Joker an 8.4 out of 10. And finally, it's time to talk about Joker Folie A Deux, which just came out over the weekend. And since it's a new release, I'm not going to give away any... I'm going to try not to avoid giving away any spoilers in this video. 
Again, this movie was directed by Todd Phillips and it was released on October 4th, 2024. So it came out exactly five years after the first movie was released. And I forgot to mention this earlier, but Todd Phillips is the same director of movies like uh, Old School, Due Date, and The Hangover Trilogy. So he's best known for a lot of comedy films in his early career, and seeing him direct the first Joker movie was definitely a shift in his career. Now, the first Joker movie was intended to being a standalone film, but then Warner Brothers decided it should make a sequel should be made to for the DCEU or something, or the I I don't know if it's no, it's not part of the new uh, DCU that James Gunn is doing. But uh, Warner Brothers decided to make a sequel to it. And uh, despite its intentions of being, the first movie's intentions of being a standalone film, they still made it anyways. And at the time of me recording this video, this film has gotten a 5.3 out of 10 star rating on IMDb. And has gotten a lot of negative reviews from critics and film goers alike. And I saw this film on the same day of its release. And before we get into my thoughts on it, we'll just quickly go through the story and we'll get into my thoughts on it. So, let's take a dive into the story. Now, Joker for Lee Adu has two different storylines. This movie takes place uh, a few years after the first movie ends. The first story part of the plot revolves around Arthur Fleck and his trial for the murders he committed in the first movie. And the second story is a love story between... Arthur and a woman named Lee, played by Lady Gaga, the two fall in love, and there's a people who want to free a uh, Joker, and Arthur is basically struggling with his, with being Arthur and his persona, Joker, a psychopathic murderer, and pretty much without giving away too much, that's basically the story of the film in a nutshell. Now, I was really looking forward to this movie, but when I found out that it was going to be a musical, I had some concern because considering the first movie wasn't a musical and making the sequel a musical was a bit of an odd choice in my opinion, but I didn't let that bother me too much. So when I finally went to go see the film, let's just say the movie itself was far from good. In fact, the movie was actually terrible, and I really did not like it as much as the first movie. But there were a couple of things I liked about the movie. The cinematography was really good, Joaquin Phoenix was great in the film, and Lady Gaga did a pretty good job as Harley Quinn. Though, I think her character could have been written a little bit better, in my opinion. And the set designs were also really good, and I also really liked the animation the animated segment at the very beginning of the movie, like in the first few minutes of the movie. If you've seen the movie, you know what I'm talking about. And not to mention the lighting and the set designs were also really good too. But the problem with the big problem with this movie is that the storyline is all over the place and it just has no idea of what it wants to be. It has no idea whether it wants to be a courthouse drama it has no idea if it wants to be that or a a musical or not. It's just, it just did not work well at all. And I honestly found the musical segments really unnecessary. It's just, it was just weird making this movie a musical since the first movie wasn't a musical. And I don't think this movie really needed to be a musical. And it just, it drags on for far too long. It just... I really did not like this movie as much as the first movie. It had, it had so much potential, but this movie just ultimately was a failure for me. And, like, I don't even know, like, why this movie was even made. I honestly think the first movie should have just stayed as a standalone. This was just a really unnecessary sequel that really did not work at all. Despite some of the pra some of the stuff I liked about the film, this movie was just terrible. It was just... I'd say this movie was worse than Megalopolis, which that movie was also really disappointing. But I'd say this movie was worse than that. But just... Man, this movie was just a mess. 
it's just forgettable it's bad just just don't even bother with it just stick with the first joker movie anyways i don't have anything else to add joker fully ado was just a waste of time it was an unnecessary sequel that didn't really need it, that the first movie really didn't need a sequel for this movie was just just forgettable just it was just bad i really did not like it at all and i don't plan on ever watching it again anytime soon Anyways, I'm giving Joker for Lee Ade a 4 out of 10. Anyways, guys, that's all I gotta say. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like, comment below, subscribe for more videos like this, turn on notifications, and share the video. And what do you guys think of these two movies? Let me know in the comment section below. And more videos will be coming out soon, so stay tuned for more. Anyways, guys, that's all I gotta say. So until next time, this is Keegan Shepard signing off. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. And yeah, take care, everybody. Peace out. Bye-bye.